Welcome to Align Christ-Centered Yoga. My name is Linda and I'll be guiding our practice today. My question for you as you begin today is this. How are you investing in the gifts and talents that the Lord has given you? Jesus tells a story of a manager with three servants and the manager gives each of his servants an equal amount of money, 10 minas. And one servant comes back and has doubled the money. One servant invests and makes half as much again. And one servant just holds on to the money and doesn't make any profit on it at all. And the manager comes back and he gets very angry with that third servant. And he says this, why didn't you put my money on deposit so that when I came back, I could have collected it with interest. And then he said to those standing by, take his minna away from him and give it to the one who has 10 minas. People were a little confused. Sir, they said, he already has 10. The manager replied, I tell you, that to everyone who has, more will be given. But as for the one who has nothing, even what they have will be taken away. I've heard it said that we can't stay on the same plane. We either grow or we decline. How are you investing in the gifts and talents that God has given you? I take the profits from this ministry and I turn it right back into training and I invest thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours in training for yoga and training for ministry so that I can better use the gifts and talents that God has given me to minister to you. What are you doing to magnify the gifts and talents that God has given you? Find a comfortable seated position, maybe rocking a little bit side to side, front to back to find your sitting bones. As you settle, begin to find alignment. Stacking shoulders over hips, elbows underneath the shoulders as the hands rest lightly on the legs, jaw parallel to the floor, top of the head reaching high. Go ahead and closing your eyes. If you're comfortable with that, begin to find breath. Notice the quality of breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Can you breathe a little more deeply, a little more slowly as you inhale all the way down to that pelvic floor? As you find a little bit of stability as you exhale. Begin to notice how the body feels. Give yourself permission to modify the practice as you move today. We'll be doing a vinyasa practice today, a flow, building, starting with a very basic flow and adding elements into it. Give yourself permission to stay simple, to move a little more quickly, to move a little more slowly, whatever works for you. Take two more breaths here. Let your hands come down to your side and beginning to connect movement with breath. Inhale as those arms rise and the gaze comes up and exhale as the hands come down. Two more times here. This time let the arms rise and as you exhale, come into cactus and begin to open up through the chest and inhale tall, interlacing the fingers, exhale into cat. Palms face forward, rise with that inhale. Exhale into that cow, just tucking the shoulder blades under. Deep breath in, exhale into cat. And two more times here. Find your pace, moving with your breath.
Let the arms rise one more time. And this time, exhale the hands down to the mat and begin to stretch side to side, pressing into that right arm as that left arm comes up. Back and forth here a couple of times. And then adding a twist to this. So let the right hand come down, left arm reaches. Bring both arms up and exhale into a twist. Inhale to center, hands down. Press into that left hand. Inhale, right arm reaches. Both arms rise. Exhale into a twist. Unwind, back to center. So just find this pattern. Rise and twist. And return to center. Reach, and rise, and twist. One more time, each direction again, just really checking in, warming up the muscles of the back, noticing the body's response to movement. And last time, each direction, release. I invite you to bring your hands to your heart. Find your breath again and begin to notice how the body feels now. Quality of breath. What is comfortable, what is uncomfortable. Accept it as it is. One more breath here. As you're ready, release. Go ahead and come off the blocks and meet me in table. Bring any props that you have towards the front of the mat. Find a strong table as the wrists come underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Begin to find cat and cow here, exhaling into that cat. Inhaling into cow. Tucking the tailbone, back reaches to the sky, head reaches towards the mat, cat. Inhaling, tucking those shoulders under, tilting the hips, cow. And two more times here. You're ready, meet me at center. Curl the toes under, knees come up into that rib cage as the hips come back. Shake your head out, no, and yes, and begin to pedal through the feet. And gently just move the hips side to side. Stretch through those calf muscles. Notice what's going on in the feet today. I was at a wedding this weekend and I was wearing high heels, which I almost never do, and man, can I feel that in my feet and my ankles today. Deep breath in, heels rise, exhaling, heels come down towards the mat. Find your breath, find downward facing dog with the breath. I invite you to come forward into plank. Come back to downward facing dog. Just a few times here. Engage through those abdominals. Push with your feet. Draw the hips back as those heels connect to the mat again. 
one more time. On the next inhale, let the right leg rise all the way up. Heel to hip, knee to sky, open. And then meet me back in three-leg dog and let the foot come all the way through the hands. Back knee taps down and up. Notice what's going on in the groin, in the inner thigh, in the quadricep, in the psoas muscle. And then as you're ready, top of the foot to the mat, begin to straighten and bend that front leg. Beginning to find our first hamstring stretch here. And if it's more comfortable for you, you can grab blocks. You're just finding the stretch that's right for you, however that works best for you. As you're ready, settle into the hamstring stretch. Maybe that front foot flexes. Maybe the foot stays pressed against the ground. I invite you to lengthen a little bit more through the spine with that inhale. Maybe square the hips. Ready, release. Front knee over the ankle. Go ahead and bring the blocks off to the side if you're using them. Raise that back leg up. Bring the front foot to the back. Meet knee in plank. From plank, come down to the mat. Let's find our low cobra, fingers out to the side, elbows over wrists. Gently lift the chest up and then tuck those shoulders under as the chest rises and exhale down. And two more times here. Just exploring sensation in the back, getting to understand how the body is moving today. As you're ready, come through table, tilting those hips, tucking those toes, meeting me in downward facing dog. I invite you to stay here for two breaths. Check in, notice how the body feels, maybe the temperature of the body. Does the right side feel any differently than the left? On the next inhale, the left leg rises high. Gaze comes forward as the foot comes through, back knee taps down and up. And as you're ready, settle that back knee to the mat. Again, checking in. What you notice will inform the rest of your practice. Inner thigh, groin, hips, quadriceps. As you're ready, begin to straighten and bend that front leg. And just finding the hamstring stretch that works best for you. And then as you're ready, settle into the hamstring stretch. So again, maybe this front foot is flexed. Maybe it stays flat to the mat. Maybe you square the hips a little more. Inhaling, can you lengthen through the spine to find a stretch? On that next inhale, the knee comes over the ankle. Go ahead and bring those blocks to the side. Pressing through the hands, bring the front foot to the back. Meet me in plank. Come down to the mat. Find your way into upward, or um, sorry, low cobra or upward facing dog is fine. And back to downward facing dog. Again, settle in for two breaths, just noticing. How is the breath moving through the body? Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Right leg rises high. 
Gaze comes forward, foot comes in between the hands, back knee drops. Take a nice deep breath in as that right arm reaches up to the sky, twisting to the inside of that front leg. Exhale and release. Draw the arms all the way up into your lunge. Find a back bend. And hands to either side of the foot, raise the back leg, bring the front foot to the back, meet knee in plank, come down to the mat. Find the back bend. And find your way back to downward facing dog. Left leg rises high. Gaze forward, foot comes all the way through, drop into that back leg, sweep that left arm up, finding the twist as you twist to the front of the inside leg. Release, rise up into your lunge, find a bit of a back bend. Hands to either side of the foot. Front foot comes back, meet me in plank, from plank come down to the mat. Find the back bend. As you exhale, come back to downward facing dog. I invite you to draw your gaze forward in between the hands. Bring both feet forward. Meet me in your first forward fold. Begin to drop the hips and lift the hips a little bit, just exploring hamstring flexibility. And then begin to find that release in the back, holding onto the elbows, top of the head towards the mat, just gently twisting side to side. Stay here for another couple of breaths. And hands to shins rise up halfway and Exhale down and pushing through the feet, come all the way up and hold on to that left wrist and just reach as you come over. And hold on to that right wrist and reach as you come over. And exhale, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway, exhaling, come down. Go ahead and leave the right leg where it is. Take the left leg back. Press into that inside hand. Draw the arm all the way up. Find your twist. I invite you to rise up into your lunge. Find a back bend. And then from here, bring the arms out to the side. Stack the shoulders over the hips. Rotate towards that front leg, add the twist, drop the back arm, lift the front, find the stretch here. And maybe that back heel can reach a little bit further towards that back wall. And cartwheel and the hands come all the way over and bring the front foot to the back and meet me in plank, come down to the mat. From here, find your glow cobra. and make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Stay here for a breath and check in. Drawing the gaze forward, bring the feet in between the hands. Find your forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and Exhale as you come down and come all the way up and find that extended mountain and reach, reach, reach. And this time interlace the fingers and you got your pointer fingers making a temple here and come up and over to the right. And press into that left foot. And come up and over to the left and press into that right foot. And as you're ready, release and forward fold. And hands to shins, come up halfway and exhaling, press into that left foot and bring that right leg back behind you and rise into your lunge. 
And then coming down, bring that left right hand to the inside of the leg and twist in as you come up because I forgot this. And release and now rise up and find your back bend. Crescent lunge. Inhale as the body lengthens and the hands reach to the sky. Bring the hands out to the side and find your twist, dropping the back arm, lifting the front. And find breath here. And cartwheeling release as the hands come to either side of the foot and the front foot comes to the back, meeting me in plank. Maybe now you come into that chaturanga. So let's just hold on to that for a moment. So those elbows are below the shoulders, the head is reaching forward. And then push into that upward facing dog, or you can still be back in low cobra and find your way to downward facing dog. Stay here and check in. What do you notice? Quality of breath, body temperature, the way the body has settled right to left. Drawing the gaze forward, bring the feet in between the hands. This time, bring the hands forward, heels rise, hips sink. Bring the hands back to the base of the little toes. Press into the feet as the hips rise just a little bit. Find your chair pose. Arms rise up, spine in neutral position as you sink into those hips, as you feel the work in the anterior tibialis in the front of the shin. I invite you to take one more breath here. Rise up to mountain. Um, interlace the fingers, find the temple, come over to the right. Stretch through the side of the body, reach to the left. This time add a back bend. Hands come to the small of the back. Open up across the chest. Find breath. And deep breath in, arms rise. And exhaling, find your forward fold. And hands to shins, rise up halfway and exhale down. And keep the right leg where it is and take the left leg back and rise up into your crescent lunge. Now I invite you to pivot into warrior two and find your warrior two front foot facing towards the front edge of the mat, back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Dropping that back arm, lift the front, peaceful warrior. Come over, side angle bend. And again. And come back into that peaceful warrior and then cartwheel your way back down, pivot that back foot, hands to either side of the front foot, press into that left hand, bring that right arm all the way up, find the twist. This time, go ahead and drop the back knee, draw the arms all the way up, cartwheel that left hand to that left heel, find the back bend here. Hands pressed to either side of that front foot. Front foot comes to the back, meet me in Chaturanga, or come all the way down to the mat. Find your low cobra or your upward facing dog, maybe even sphinx. Curling the toes under, meet me in downward dog. And stay here and check in. How can you shift the pose with breath? Two more breaths here. Taking a deep breath in, draw the gaze forward, bring the feet in between the hands. Find your forward fold. Hands come forward, lift the heels, sink the hips. Hands come back to the feet, heels down, hips rise, meet me in chair. From chair, rise up into mountain. 
Again, interlacing the fingers, coming up and over to one side. And the other. This time, taking those hands behind you, interlacing the fingers as the hands come down. And the chest opens up. Find your back bend. Deep breath in, arms rise. Exhaling, forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down. Step into that left foot. Right leg comes back. Rise up into your lunge. And pivot into warrior two. Again, establishing warrior two. Body square to the wide edge of that mat, that front knee right over the ankle. Peaceful warrior. Side angle bend. And two more times here, moving with breath. Can the legs stay steady? A strong foundation for the upper body. And this time, cartwheel your way all the way forward. Go ahead and press into that right hand. Sweep that left arm up. Exhaling, hand comes down to the side. Drop that back knee. Come up into your kneeling lunge. And just continue cartwheeling that right hand back to that right foot. And begin to find your stretch here. Nice deep breath in. Cartwheel your way back. Press into the front foot. Bring the front foot to the back. Meet me in plank, however you choose to do it. Find your way back to downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, stay here for a few breaths and check in. As we build on the flow, as you build skills, be patient with yourself. Give yourself time to learn. Keep investing. Drawing the gaze forward. Bring the feet forward. Practice my hop here. I'm not very good at it. Hands to shins. Rise up halfway. Exhaling. Come down. Go ahead and find that chair pose. And rise up into mountain. Go ahead and interlace the fingers. Come over to one side. And reach and come over to the other. And interlace the fingers behind you and find the back bend. Deep breath in. Exhale. Forward fold. Hands to shins. Rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down, leave the right leg where it is, rise into your left leg, come all the way up. This time, instead of bringing the hand to the foot, find your twist here, hinging at the hip, bringing the elbows across. Stack here for a breath, open up the arms, reach. And then exhaling, come back, rise into the lunge. Bring the hands down, pivot into warrior two. Sorry, I kind of lost it there. Go ahead and come into reverse warrior, over into side angle bend. Reverse warrior. Now pivot into that lunge. Now is actually where we're gonna find that twist. So we'll just do a little extra twist here. We'll do it on the other side too. Open up, I got a plan here. Exhale, release, hands rise to center, hands to heart, take a breath. Raise the arms up, bring the back foot forward, meet me in chair pose. Press into that left foot. Let that right leg rise, hands to heart, curtsy behind. 
Bring that right knee up. Meet me in warrior three. Flex the foot, engage the abdominals, head reaches to one wall, toe reaches to the other. Meet me in mountain. Forward fold. Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down one leg back and then the other. Meet me in plank. Find your way back to downward facing dog, whatever that looks like for you. And meeting me there, check in. If you're working on that, hop forward with me. You're going to bend those knees. And you're just going to push off with those feet and bring them in between. And hands to shins, come up halfway. And exhale down. Rise up into your mountain. Interlace your fingers, stretch to one side. Stretch to the other. Hands behind, interlace the fingers, find the back bend. Keep the hands here, straighten up the body, bend the knees, come forward, hands come up and over, find your forward fold here. Work within your own range of motion with your shoulders. One more breath. Exhaling, engage the abdominals, bring those hands down. Hands to shins, rise up. Exhale down, leave the left leg where it is. Take that right leg all the way back. Deep breath in, rise up. So we did it this way before, so we'll do it again. Hands to heart, come forward, find that twist. Open up the arms. Release and rise and pivot into your warrior two. Reverse warrior. Side angle bend. Reverse warrior. Pivot to the front. Hands to heart. Find your twist. If you want to make it stronger, keep the arms a little bit off the legs. Open up. Release, drop that back knee, bring that right arm all the way back to that right foot, open up the hips, open up the chest, find your stretch, engage the abdominals. So you're really stretching the abdominals here. And then as you're ready, release, coming forward. Front foot comes to the, um, back foot comes to the front. Meet me in chair. Left foot comes behind, hands to heart. Find your curtsy. Rise in, knee rises up as you come into mountain. And then that left leg comes back in warrior three. And find your warrior three, wherever those arms are. Find your balance. Engage as that foot presses back, as the head reaches forward. And meet me in mountain. Exhaling, bring those hands behind. Bend the knees, forward fold. Let the arms rise. And exhaling, hands down to the mat. Stay here in forward fold. And I invite you just to find it. Go ahead and bend the knees a little bit. Move the shoulders, engage the abdominals. Where is your forward fold at the end of this practice? Hands to shins, rise up halfway. Exhaling, come down, one leg back, and then the other, meet me in plank. 
from plank, draw down to your knees. First child's pose of the day, child to table twice. Let's explore it. Move with breath. As you're ready, come into child's pose, settle here and find your breath. As we're here in child's pose, I'm thinking about rosebuds I have outside. I have a bush that's just full of buds, just waiting to burst into bloom. But they still need a little bit of time. They need more water and more sun. And then they will be beautiful. What are you doing to invest in the gifts and talents that you have so that you can fully bloom? Take two more breaths here. Take two more breaths here. As you're ready, press into your hands and rise up to a sitting position. And Bring your feet side to side or forward, feet out to the side, and gently drop your knees side to side. So just massaging out the glutes, a little lower body twist here. And then as you're ready, come down onto your back. Draw your knees in and gently rock side to side. So bring the knees above the hips, shins parallel to the floor, hands out to the side, come down about two thirds of the way on one side, two thirds of the way on the other. Just a slightly deeper lower body twist here. And as you're ready, let those knees come down to that first side and look in the opposite direction. And to let the shoulders get heavy on the mat, the shoulder blades heavy on the mat. And find the twist that's right for you. So maybe you adjust the abdominals. Or adjust your breath. Or adjust your knee. As you're ready, gently draw the knees up and go the other direction. So again, those knees are just going to come down to the side. Turn and look in the opposite direction. Find the twist that works on this side. Notice how does it feel different than it did on the other side. Adjust with breath.
As you're ready, gently draw the belly in, come back to center. Bring the knees in, give yourself a hug one more time. A little bit of stretch for the back there. And then hands to knees, push the knees away from the rib cage and back in, just restoring a more neutral position of the spine, restoring a natural arch to the lower back. And as you're ready, bring your feet to the mat and extend your legs long and find Shavasana. So windshield wiper your feet and bounce your knees, wiggle your hips a little. Maybe the arms reach up to the ceiling and you thump them down and do that again. Let the hands come down to the hips, palms up. As you settle today, I invite you to offer all of your gifts and talents to the Lord. Invite him to show you how to invest in them, how to magnify them tenfold for him. I invite you to stay here a little longer if you can. If you need to move on with your day, begin to wiggle fingers and toes and rotate wrists and ankles and turn your head side to side. And taking a deep breath in, bring arms up and over and stretch as long as you can and fingers to one wall and toes to the other and reach. And as you're ready, bend your knees and roll over onto one side. And let your head rest on your arms. Find your breath. And that next inhale, come up to sitting. Sitting with one leg in front of the other, crossing the legs one in front of the other, finding your sitting bones. I invite you to check in one final time, body, mind, and soul. What has changed since you came to the mat today? Noticing also what has stayed the same and accepting it as it is. Taking a deep breath in, arms rise up and overhead, palms together and exhaling, bring hands to heart, joining me in prayer. Holy God, we are so thankful for all of the ways that you have gifted and blessed us. Draw our attention to where you want us to spend our time and our energy, how you want us to invest in the gifts that you have given us. Spirit, give us wisdom also as we seek to use those gifts to honor and glorify you. Jesus, it is in your name that we pray. Amen. Thank you for practicing with me today.